Here in this country, President Biden met virtually with G7 leaders as part of renewed efforts to isolate Russia by cutting off Moscow's cash flow from oil exports. Nancy Cortez is at the White House. Nancy, good morning. We also saw First Lady Jill Biden visiting Ukraine over the weekend for Mother's Day. Good morning, Nate. That's right. The White House tells reporters that the First Lady has wanted to go to Ukraine since March. And of course, we know that her president has expressed his desire to visit as well. But in the end, she was the one who got there first in a trip that came together just a few days ago. First Lady Jill Biden arrived in a Ukrainian border town Sunday bearing flowers for the country's First Lady, Olena Zelenska. Zelenska has not been seen in public since the start of the Russian invasion. Her location and her children's kept secret during the war. I wanted to come on Mother's Day. I thought it was important to show the Ukrainian people that this war has to stop. We all feel your support and we all feel the leadership of the U.S. president. Her husband, Ukrainian President Zelensky, spoke with some G7 leaders on Sunday, including President Biden, who joined the call from Wilmington, Delaware. The group announced that all seven countries will either phase out or totally ban imports of Russian oil in an effort to target one of Russia's biggest sources of income. Many European countries are dependent on Russian oil, and until yesterday, only the U.S. had banned it. Separately, the U.S. also unleashed a new round of sanctions on Russia's biggest state television networks, barred Americans from consulting on business with anyone in Russia, and set a host of new visa restrictions for Russian elites. Ukraine's ambassador to the U.S. welcomed the moves. We count on all of our friends and allies to help us with everything so we can stop Russia while it's still in Ukraine. As Russia was celebrating its Victory Day, the U.S. was sending diplomats back to the U.S. Embassy in Kyiv for the first time. Now, this was just a temporary visit, but the State Department is hoping to reopen the embassy fully sometime in the coming weeks. Tarika. Nancy Cordes Force at the White House. Thank you.